welcome back to the channel guys so today guys it is time to do our uefa nations league semi-final predictions so let me know your predictions in the comments below guys and we're going to go ahead and get started with the very first matchup which we have here is croatia versus netherlands this is a very interesting one let's talk about tactics here right for this game i think both teams are are going to be interesting here. i think croatia for me will probably hold less possession and i think netherlands will hold more possession you know and I think this will be interesting because both teams aren't really known for possession-based football, right? And the thing of the difference between the two nations is that Croatia isn't really clinical when it comes to in front of goal. Defensively, they're very solid. Netherlands, on the other hand, is very clinical in front of goal. And defensively, they're pretty solid. So what's going to give in this game? Because for me, what the difference between the two teams, as I said, is that Croatia, for me, have they're just built different for this kind of occasions, right? Netherlands, for me, while they did do well, I don't think Netherlands have really proven it at a more... Like, they haven't really shown it in the last couple of years. They only showed it the World Cup. And as good as the World Cup was, they beat everyone they were expected to, right? And when they lost to a, a quality opponent, they did lose, right? So my question for Croatia is that they have proven it more, right? They beat Brazil, which they were not expected to. And they put up a very good game. They put up a decent game against Argentina. Yes, I know they got thrashed and everything, but they put up a decent game. I think players will be crucial for the respective teams. For Croatia, will always be Luka Modric. The guy is effortless. The guy is class even at his age. Brozovic, of course, will be very, very important. Um, it's going to be interesting to see how he fares in this game, especially coming off the Champions League final loss. Then, obviously, I think another important player is going to be Livakovic. He's going to make some big saves. And I'm going to be interested to see how Croatia do in the striker position. Who's going to be the striker? Because for me, it shouldn't be Kramaric. Kramaric shouldn't start. I would honestly give Pekovic to go. Right? And then I think for me, Pasolici should be playing, Meher, and then obviously Kovacic as well. And then obviously Vardiol is injured, so who's going to be that part of replacement? It's going to probably be Sutula, right? As, as for the Netherlands, obviously Frankie Young's going to be very crucial. Coop Myers, Jeannie Wijnaldum, uh, Vermin, I have Steven Bergwijn, Cody Gakpo, Noah Lang. See, the thing with this team is that there's not a lot of like world-class players in the Netherlands. I feel like most of these players are good. None of them is at the world-class level. I think the only player I can maybe say is world-class right now is maybe Frank De Jong. The guy has been really good for Barca. So, in the last, last few seasons or so, right? You know, Ake, Botman, DeLitt, Dumfries, you know, Van Dijk, of course. And so, yeah, this will be very difficult to call. My prediction for this game is I'm going to go with is a draw. I think both teams will cancel each other out. I feel like, for me, Netherlands will take the lead. I think Croatia will um, uh, progress as the game goes on and get the equalizer. And I have a feeling this will go to penalties. And if it does go to penalties, I am favoring Croatia 100%. I feel like, for me, Croatia... Just has that they just they know how to do this on penalties, whereas Netherlands for me they don't, right? And I feel like Netherlands is not really that great on penalties. So I'm gonna go with Croatia to win on penalties as my prediction. Moving on to the other semifinal, we have Italy versus Spain. Now the thing with Italy is that fact that I feel like for me Italy is a team that is pretty good, right? You know we all know what they are capable of doing. My issue with Italy though is the fact their forwards are so so atrocious. And we all know Italy is going to keep lost possession this game. You know, Spain knows how to keep the ball very well. And that's also the same issue with Spain. They don't really have any clinical forwards. You know, and I'm looking what um, Mancini has called up for this um, this Nations League uh, campaign. And he's called up some interesting players. He's called up Retguri, Raspadori, which I think is interesting, and Gonotto, right? Also, Chiesa is back, which I think Chiesa could be very, very important. You know, he also called up Fratesi, which is interesting. And he also called up Zaniolo as well. You know, and for um, Inter, so not Inter, Italy, you have like Acherbi as decent, Bastoni, Bonici still getting called up, you know. Um, actually, yeah, Bonici's fine. I'm thinking about Chiellini then, sorry. De Lorenzo, oh yeah, uh, Chiellini retired, of course. Then you have DeMarco, who obviously is coming off the Champions League final loss. Dormian as well, who's decent. And obviously for um, Spain in particular, man, players that they called up is going to be, they called up, let's see, wow, they called up um, Juan Bernat, interesting. And they call up Hosolu, Alvaro Morata, Jeremy Pino, Rodrigo, Dani Olmo, Asensio. It's very interesting because Spain are coming off with a new coach. For me, guys, I'm going to go with Italy to triumph. I feel like for me, my issue with Spain is just there's so much uncertainty with this team. And while I don't really think either nation is consistent, but I feel like Italy for me is a bit more consistent than Spain. And I feel like for me, Italy just knows how to do it. Like I feel like for Spain, they'd have to play the perfect game to win right and more often than not you don't really see them play the perfect game right and i feel like for italy in particular as well as the fact their new coach Carlo de la fuente de la fuente i don't think is i just think it's gonna be hard it's gonna be hard for him to 
get a knack of this team. And, you know, they just lost to Scotland in the last international break, which is really, really embarrassing. So, yeah, I'm going to go with uh, Italy to triumph. So we're going to have Italy versus Croatia as my final. I'll go with Italy to win. I'll say they win this 1-0. I think they'll win this 1-0, guys. It'll be very interesting to see what happens, guys. Are there Nations League semifinals? Let me know your predictions, comments below. Guys, remember guys to like and subscribe. And yeah, I'll see you guys later. Peace out. And the goal scorer for Italy, forgot to mention this. I'm going to go with... I mean, I'm going to go with Chiesa, I guess. All right, see you guys later. Peace out.